Yeah, that's a, a fascinating question. Um, you know, a lot of the things that we're talking about, public ownership, community economic development, and so on and so forth, are, are not really that conducive to international free trade rules, uh, the WTO rules, and so on and so forth, um, especially things like local procurement, local hiring, local economic you know, sort of resiliency, uh, you know, environmental labor laws. You know, these things are all not exactly enshrined in international trade agreements uh, as they exist, neoliberal trade agreements. Uh, Britain's an interesting case because they are currently in a, a exit situation from the European Union, um, and the European Union uh, the European Union laws are very neoliberal. Um, so, for instance, a lot of the Labour Party's agenda around public ownership, especially like renationalizing the railroads, couldn't do it under the European Union. Those are that's completely illegal under European Union law. State aid, procurement stuff as well. So, they actually have an opportunity by leaving the European Union to put in place some of the more radical elements of a socialist agenda. Obviously, it could go horrendously bad. You know, sort of. The, if the Labour Party gets in, they could take it in an interesting direction. If the hardcore Brexiteers, the right-wing populists, you know, take control of that process, they could turn it into an offshore tax haven and privatize everything, and it could be a terrible, terrible situation. So we really need to think, I think, internationally as well. You know, what what are different models of international trade and international agreements that will help us develop the things that we want to develop, uh, but also maintain you know, sort of international solidarity? We don't want to. Be, sort of retreating into insular nation state nationalist countries um, you know that are hostile migrants and, and so on and so forth you know we, we were you know I feel like I'm an internationalist personally so you know we want to be thinking about how this can be impacting the entire world and, and how we can bring the world together around this stuff however we don't want to do it through the WTO the IMF and, and the existing neoliberal trade arrangements because that's just not going to cut it. Well, I think the first challenge to these uh, public ownership schemes is making it out during the middle of a snowstorm, which yes. we had a good turnout um, despite that. So we're, we're on the right path. Um, if there's no other questions, I just want to thank you so much for doing this. And um, yeah, that's, that's all. Thank you all so much.